entire development of the frog takes place in water. In the tadpole stage of the frog, the respiratory organs are mainly gills. While the adult frog living on land breathes through the skin, buccopharyngeal cavity and lungs, which are its respiratory organs. Skin The respiration in the frog by the skin is referred to as cutaneous respiration. The skin of the frog is thin, moist, slimy, highly vascularized and devoid of any type of exoskeleton. Histologically, it can be divided into two regions, the epidermis and the dermis. The surface of the epidermis possesses a large number of pores which are openings of the mucous glands. The mucus secreted by these glands keeps the skin moist by holding a thin film of water between itself and the skin surface. This thin film of water helps in gaseous exchange between the blood in the capillaries located in the dermis region lying next to the epidermis and the outside environment. Buccopharyngeal cavity Frogs respire through their buccopharyngeal cavity while floating on water and when resting on land. This type of respiration is called the buccopharyngeal respiration. The thin, vascularized and moist lining of the buccopharyngeal cavity aids in this type of respiration. During the process, the mouth, gullet and glottis remain closed, but the external nares are open. The floor of the cavity exhibits oscillatory movements that allow the air to move in and out, thus facilitating the gaseous exchange. Lungs Respiration through lungs is stated as pulmonary respiration. This process is observed when the frog is on land. Frogs possess a pair of lungs which are located anteriorly in the thoracic cavity on either side of the heart. These are pear-shaped, pinkish, hollow, sac-like structures. Each lung is highly distensible with a wide cavity and a thin wall. The wall is internally provided with numerous folds forming chambers called alveoli. Both the lungs lead into a small common chamber called the bronchus. The bronchus in turn opens into a spherical box-like pharyngeotracheal chamber which opens into the buccopharyngeal cavity by slit-like glottis. The lungs get filled with the atmospheric air by the process of inhalation. This results in inflation of the lungs. After retention of air in lungs for a while, the process of exhalation deflates the lung, forcing the air out of the lung. Respiration in the frog is facilitated by skin, buccopharyngeal cavity and lungs which together constitute its respiratory organs. The respiration in the frog by the skin is referred to as cutaneous respiration. The skin of the frog is thin, moist, slimy, highly vascularized and devoid of any type of exoskeleton. Frogs respire through their buccopharyngeal cavity while floating on water and when resting on land. This type of respiration is called the buccopharyngeal respiration. The thin, vascularized and moist lining of the buccopharyngeal cavity aids in this type of respiration. Pulmonary respiration is observed when the frog is on land. Frogs possess a pair of lungs which are located anteriorly in the thoracic cavity on either side of the heart.